In this video, we will study about web server and application server. And this video will hopefully clear some of your doubts regarding web server and application server. So let's begin. What is a web server? Web server is a computer system that hosts websites. So what do you mean by websites? It's a collection of web pages. So for example, when you open amazon.com, it's a web website and it does not have a single web page, but it has multiple web pages. So when you open it, you see the home web page, but when you click on a product, you will be uh, taken towards a different web page. That will be the product web page. And there you will see multiple things, the image of the product info and even recommendations. So that means website. And then any computer system can be a web server. What is the difference between a normal computer system and a web server? So the difference is that this computer system is running a web server software. For example, Apache HTTP web server. This is the most popular one today as of now. Then we have Microsoft IIS and some others. So is this the only difference that uh, computer system and uh, a computer system running web server software? No, there is one more difference. And the second is that this computer system should be connected to internet in order to act as a web server. Otherwise, uh, clients, web clients cannot contact it through HTTP. So it may not be able to, it will not be able to serve those. So it will not be acting as a web server. So it should be connected to internet and it should be running a web server software. So uh, typically web servers host multiple websites some only host a few while others may host several hundreds but there are some dedicated servers also so based on that we will categorize a web server into two parts one is that uh, web servers that host websites for multiple users these are called shared hosts and there are some dedicated uh, web servers that will be hosting uh, websites for single person or company and these will be called dedicated hosts. So which uh, servers are shared and which are dedicated? So when uh, let's say there is some personal website uh, or some uh, small websites which does not have huge amount of traffic then those will, would be uh, generally hosted on shared hosts. But uh, if there is a huge website and it has uh, high traffic, then that requires a dedicated server for that. And also if uh, the sites require custom server modification, then it will go for dedicated hosts. Now uh, let's understand how this web server works. So if we have a web server, let's say this is the web server, then there must be a client client whom the server is serving. So we will call it web client. So this client sends an HTTP request to the web server and it will request for some page or it will require for some other resources. So there are two possibilities. One possibility is that the requested uh, URL, the page that is requested or the file that is requested is present with the web server then it will immediately send a HTTP response with the file but it may be possible that that is not present on the web server so it can look into a static uh, database so these are files that is present to this then there may be also static database uh, which the web server can contact and fetch the file and return to the send a HTTP response. But there may be scenario that uh, this uh, is not present in the static DB, but it needs some processing. Then what this web server will do is that it will send a servlet request to the application server. So you can now see application server coming into picture. So it will send a servlet request to application server. So just a quick info, what is a servlet? If you may be wondering, a servlet is a small Java program that runs with a web server. 
servlets receive and respond to requests from web clients usually across http so these will be some java programs so it will require some processing so it will send this servlet request to this application server it will contact the application data store in order to process run this servlet and fetch some uh, details from here and do further processing and then it will send a servlet response to the web server and now this web server has the re response built in so uh, response ready so it can send a http response back to the web client so this is how web server works and this application server may not be always required but it may be required when some intense processing is required which web server cannot handle so this is a rough idea and you should uh, understand this flow now let's uh, see some of the examples of uh, web servers so one uh, most popular web server is apache http server and uh, it's uh, most popular as of now it's uh, developed by apache software foundation and just a rough estimate uh, roughly uh, 60% of the web servers run apache web server and it can be installed on all operating systems including linux unix windows freebsd mac os os x and more and it's a open source software so all of these uh, are related to its popularity that's why it's so popular then we have uh, internet information services or in short iis it's uh, developed by microsoft and it runs on windows nt 2000 and 2003 platforms and uh, it is tightly integrated with the operating system so it is easy to administer it then we have some other web servers like light pd sun java system web server and jigsaw server there are a few more but those are not that much popular now we have a good uh, understanding of web server we also know uh, the most popular web servers how web server functions now let's uh, quickly look at application server so application server is a server that is specifically designed to run applications and here also we had seen that this was coming into picture when this web server did not had the request ready and it needed to run some java program to uh, build the response so it's a server designed for running applications and it includes both hardware and software that provide an environment for programs to run so what are some of the uses of uh, application server it's used for running web applications hosting a hypervisor that manages virtual machines so what are hypervisors these are software programs that manage one or more virtual machines and these can be used to create start stop and reset virtual machines then uh, uh, application server can be used for distributing and monitoring software updates and also processing data sent from another server now next question is why we use application server we already have some idea why we use application server so a web server uh, if you see is designed and often optimized to serve web pages and not more than that therefore it may not have the resources to run demanding web applications so an application server provides the processing power and the memory to run these applications in real time it also provides uh, the environment to run a specific applications for example uh, let's say a cloud service may need to process a data on a windows machine and a linux based server may provide the web interface for the cloud service but it cannot run the windows application it can just provide an interface therefore it may uh, send the input data to a windows based application server so this web server is running on uh, linux and it has some interface with which the the client can interact but it cannot process uh, something some application which can only run on a, a windows so it has to contact the application server which will be running on windows and uh, then it will run that application therefore may it may send input data to a windows based server and the application server can process the data and then return the result to the web server once processing is done and which can be output uh, as the form of result on a web browser 
so it can be sent to the client so you see that here it's uh, necessary it cannot do it cannot be done on the web server so this is some uh, intuition why we need application server just uh, one of the reasons is that it provides the environment to run a specific application web server may not have that environment and uh, it's more powerful it provides uh, processing power memory as well as environment so i hope uh, i was able to clear your some of your doubts regarding web server and application server thank you